Hello, my name's Josh and today we're going to be talking about how to find the International Space Station. Now I know that many of you are keen stargazers and whenever you get the chance, like me, I'm sure you're out looking up at the twinkling stars in the sky above you. And there's loads to see. Maybe you've spotted some constellations, perhaps you've even seen a planet or two, and some of you may have even caught a shooting star. But one thing I love to search for is the International Space Station. Now I'm quite lucky, I happen to have a model of the space station that I can look at whenever I'd like. But if I like to find it out in the night sky, there's a couple of tips that I've got for you. First of all, it needs to be dark. You can't see the space station during the day, there's not much point trying. But once it's nice and dark, you also need it to be nice and clear. We don't want any of those pesky clouds getting in the way. But assuming you've got a clear dark night, you're off to a good start. Now the main problem with looking for the space station is it kind of looks a bit like a star. It's a bright point of light. It's usually much brighter than almost anything else in the night sky, except perhaps the moon. But there's one big difference from a star. It doesn't stay still. In fact, the space station moves across the sky. Now when you usually see it, it usually is up for a couple of minutes and you'll see it drift across in a smooth, straight line. Now, it looks a bit like a plane moving, but there's one big difference from a plane. It doesn't blink. Plane lights have a tendency to flash on and off as they move through the air. The space station, however, is a solid light, and that solid light will shine the entire journey until it disappears. Now, sometimes it will go all the way from one horizon all the way over to the other, but other times it might only go part of that journey. It also appears in different places. Sometimes it can be low to the horizon, sometimes it can be super high up. And this all depends on its position as it orbits the Earth. Now the space station doesn't appear every night. It normally happens in bursts. In fact, at the moment, where we are now, the end of September, we happen to have a couple of viewings uh, most evenings here in Leicester. But that's not always the case. And the best way to find this is to use a website to track it. Let me show you the one I like to use. Hello again, I'm back and this time I'm at my computer and I'm going to show you how I look up the best times to see the International Space Station fly overhead. Simply go to a web browser and this will work on your computer or your phone or your tablet and you're going to go to a website called spotthestation.nasa.gov Type that in and you should be taken to this page here. And this page is run by NASA and you can use it to find out when the International Space Station is due to pass overhead. Using the box in the middle, it'll ask you for your city, your town, you can put your postcode in, whichever you feel comfortable. I work at the National Space Centre in Leicester. So let's put on Leicester. I can get a drop down across here. I'm going to select this one. This looks about right. So if I click on this map point in the middle, it'll then give me this option to view the sighting opportunities. Simply clicking on this will take me to this page. And this page here lists all the opportunities of when I can find the space station flying up and overhead. As we can see, there's a lot happening at the moment. Now, a few of these dates have already gone at the time that I'm making this video, but, and a few of them might still be there for when you're looking and seeing this video going live. But if not, do not worry. Head to that website, type in your location, and it will give you the best thing. Now, a couple of hints and tips of what to look for is a couple of interesting facts. Not only do you have the date and the time in the first column, you have a few other bits of information as well. The appears and disappears will tell you roughly in the night sky which path the space station is going to follow, but I wouldn't worry about that too much. The thing I always look for is the visible time and the maximum height. If the visible time is longer, you're going to get a much better view of the space station. You should have a lot longer to try and find it in the night sky. Also, you'd like a good high max height, because that means that you're going to have a chance to see it a little bit easier. The problem with low height passes is that houses, buildings, trees, things like that can get in the way. If you've got a nice high max height, it means you're going to pass nice and clearly overhead, giving you the best possible chance to spot the space station as it flies overhead. So why don't you check out this page, find out when your next space station is passed, and go and have a little look. See if you can see that giant floating space lab flying up above your head. Happy hunting, and thanks for tuning in.